if you always fight with your husband or you always fight with your wife. Especially to sa mga natuturo, mga workers, you cannot have the anointing of the Lord if you keep on fighting with somebody else every week. If you, can, if you always get mad or angry every day, you cannot have anointing at the same time and get mad. Hello? So, the reason why God is teaching us not to be offended oftentimes because when you are being offended, the anointing will not take place. Anointing is very important because I cannot, even somebody else could not stand here and share the word, even if he is sharing the whole day without the anointing of God, nothing will happen. It is the anointing of the Lord will touch you, will transform each one of us, and it will give the power through His Word. Ito yung anointing na kailangan. So if you are being offended all the time, kung lagi kang nagagalit, lagi kang uh, may poot dito, then the anointing will not rest on you. And we need the anointing of the Lord every day. Para pag may anointing ka, pag isang tawag mo lang, Lord, tawag, tumulong, may tumulong sa akin. Tumulong ka agad. Lord, may may dadating na sa akin, may sa akin agad. Because God will empower you if the anointing is God has given you, a, God given you an empowerment to to be prosperous in everything you do. Amen. So napakahalaga ho na uh, namuhay tayo na offense proof. Amen. Ang taong insecure, insecure people are easily offended. Mm. Tingnan mo nga yung katabi mo kung insecure yan. Ang insecure, insecure people are easily offended. Minsan sa bahay, kung nasa bahay tayo, lalo sa mga nasawa, sabi na yung babae, ako na nga naglinis dito, ako na nga nagluto, ako na nga lahat. Hindi mo lang ako ma-appreciate na thank you or uh, something. Nakasin nyo yun? Yung mga babae? Ang mga, ang mga lalaki karamihan, uh, most of the time, include, it includes me, we never always, uh, yung pang every detail na ginagawa ng babae, always say, we thank you, uh, ang ganda naman. Na. Minsan, nag-ayos na ng buhok yung asawa mo, tapos hindi mo na pinansin na nag, nag-make up na pala na dumating ka. Yun ganon. So, and then, the, the, the women would say, hindi mo lang na-appreciate dito. Nagpaganda na nga ako eh. Alam mo yun, she wants to to show to his uh, husband na uh, uh, maganda siya. Kasi paano pa naman, hindi na siya, hindi na siya pinapansin tatong linggo na. <laughs> Ibig sabihin na insecure na yun. Sabi nung isang sister, makapaglagay na nga ng eyebrow dito at makapag-lipstick. Para naman napansin ni Mr. Eh, napansin nga ni Mr. Ano ba yan? Nilagyan mo pa na uling, lalo ka na pumangit tuloy. <laughs> Naku, lalo lalo na insecure si Mrs. <laughs> Dapat kayo mga babae, lalo na may asawa, huwag nyo ngayaan yung itsura nyo para kayong isang, yung walang may mag-aari, kakalat-kalat sa lata. <laughs> there are a lot of women, uh, yung, there are a lot of Married women na bukit may asawa na sila, may 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 mag-aari na may, they have, they are being already uh, owned by their husband, they don't do, you know, proper nung dalaga, katakot-takot na paganda yan. Pamarlo, nung nag-asawa na, ako si Mr. Ramon titingin sa akin. Ganon din si Musyo. Time will come that your insecurity ay lalabas yan kapag nandun na kayo, magkasama na kayo. And there are a lot of people who are insecure, kaya kapag ano, ang mga taong insecure ay madaling ma-offend. Hello? Pangalawa, selfish people are easily offended. Tingnan mo nga yung katabi mo, selfish pa yan. <laughs> so, kapag ang, kapag ang itao, isang tao ay selfish, madali siyang ma-offend. So, let us, let us evaluate ourselves, examine ourselves. 
Madali ba tayong open? Probably, you are selfish. Probably, you are insecure. So, yun ang mga root kung bakit madali kang ma-open. So, yung, yung this kind of spirit causes you to become easily offended. So, for example, uh, mag-asawa, this common in, uh, in, in the area of Kopo, or yung mag-asawa, may mga magulang tayo, kakalipaw ako, I, I send money to my, to my brother since I, I, have, I don't have brother. For example, nagpadala ko ng pera sa uh, kapatid ko o sa nanay ko, nagpadala ko. Tapos after, after the following week, humingi uli. Nagre-react na ngayon yung isa. Sabi na, kapapadala mo na nga. Bakit nang kapapadala ka na naman? And it's true. I myself, I, I question my 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 wife, sabi ko, kapapadala mo nang last week na ano, tapos kapapadala ka naman ulit. Why? You have to check your heart, ano ba ang naging motive nung taong nagpadala, pinadala niya ba yun in order for them to be blessed or pinadala niya yun na tinotolerate lang nila yung family nila doon? Na ginagawa nilang tamad and they, they, don't, they don't want to teach their families to, to trust and rely God but instead mag-trust at mag-rely sa inyong padala. Hello? So, kapag ang motibo ng pag-ano pag, ay para matulungan, there's nothing wrong with it. Pero kung padala ka ng padala para lang mar, mar, masabihin marami kang pera may padala, then, may problema. Magiging, ang, ang, tendency, ang tendency doon, ang partner mo, he will become selfish ngayon. In my side, dahil wala akong kapatid, patay na rin ang mama ko, papa na lang. I don't used to send uh, remittance to my family, but my wife, she oftentimes sent uh, in her side. But I never felt jealous about sending those kind of provision. Why? Because malalaman mo yun kung ano yung motibo kung bakit pinadala mo sila. You don't need to be uh, insecure, don't need to be uh, selfish when you send, when somebody is sending uh, remittances to your family. Hello? So kung ikaw ay na-open kapag ang asawa mo o ikaw lalaki magpapadala ka doon sa ano din na-open nyo ba't ito na padala mo? If you are being easily offended when your partner will send remittances to your family then check your heart maybe you are selfish kaya ka na-open hello sabihin mo nga sa katabi mo do not be insecure unselfish Ulitin mo, do not be insecure, unselfish. Amen po ba ron? So, hindi dapat tayo maging insecure at saka selfish. Turn with me in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 32 to 33. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 32. Sabi niyo doon sa verse 32, Give none offense. Ibig niya sabihin, huwag kang ma-offend. Give none offense, neither to the Jews, nor to the Gentiles, nor to the Church of God, even as I please all men in all things, not seeking mine own profit, but the profit of many, that they may be saved. Amen? Now, gusto kong sabihin sa inyo na we should live, we should stop living pleasing the audience. Ano po ibig sabihin nun? You cannot please everybody. Sa lahat ng pupuntahan mo, in every places, in every community na pupuntahan mo, even if you try your best, your 100% to please them, 10% among them will be 